Good morning. It's Friday. It's day 16 of Vlogmas. Um, and my day is off to, it's off. We're off, we're off, we're, we've been doing stuff. Took a yoga class this morning, grabbed a couple food things, came back, made breakfast, had a cup of tea. My chest was still feeling, my chest was feeling better by the end of the day yesterday. And then when I woke up this morning, it felt the same as it did yesterday morning. So I was like, let me go, sweat it out, eat hot food, drink hot drinks, get some fluids in me. And I'm feeling a lot better. Like, I think there's just stuff in my chest. It's dry, it's winter. I have to take care of myself. So I've been, eating breakfast, editing today's vlog that's going up. And then I just was taking a look at the tree, moving a couple ornaments around. I still think I need to move some around because this tree is just different than our last one. And we have more ornaments this year. So I'm figuring out a good configuration as far as like the front half goes because some of the ornaments we don't have a lot of and some of them we have an abundance of. So the ones we have an abundance of are getting a full wrap around. The ones we don't have a lot of are focused on the front uh and i wanted to add some bows so tomorrow very exciting is my birthday party it is barbie themed it is pink themed so we wanted to do bows on the tree this year but for my party i wanted to do pink bows and then i'll switch them on sunday to some more christmasy themed bows although i love pink and green it's one of my favorite color combinations uh and i love pink christmas stuff but i don't know if it's the vibe for this year we've kind of especially with what's going on here we've got kind of like a rusticy cottage christmas like cozy christmas vibe uh so i think the pink will just be for the party but let me show you what i've done this morning i also got the star on the tree and i think it's gonna be okay okay so star is on very exciting and then we've got all these bows all over the tree i think i'm gonna stick with this and move some ornaments around and then see what i think i might do like another bow in this area that's looking like it could use one and maybe one here. Maybe, we'll see. I don't wanna overdo it. And I need ribbon for a couple other bows that are going around the apartment for the party. So um, I don't wanna use it all on the tree. And the ribbon has to be kind of long to give it like that big droopy look. I don't wanna run out of like the hot pink before I need to use it. But I like the color combination of the two pinks on the tree, um, especially with the pink ornaments that we have, it's really nice. So. I don't know if I'm gonna, I, I feel like I need to just let this sit and do other stuff and then I can come back to this because um, now that I've seen it in the daytime, I'll kind of see it as the day goes on and then I'll come back and look at it at night when it's lit up, you know? Today is party prep day. So I am going to, let me turn this off. I am going to get to some stores to get some food things, drink things. Uh, there are a couple things I'm not gonna pick up till tomorrow because it just makes sense, but there are other things that I can pick up today. So I'll kind of show you that. I need to make my way down to Bryant Park because I have uh, two Christmas gifts in mind. One is for my dog and I need to see if the thing that I've gotten over the last couple of years is there because I didn't see the stand when we were there last weekend. And then I have something else in mind for a friend of mine. But yeah, it's gonna be like Christmas shopping, party shopping, and then when we come back this evening is gonna be all about getting the apartment um, cleaned, put together, putting away all my like stacks of things um, and just making sure that I don't have to do a crazy amount of cleaning tomorrow because I just wanna relax, I just wanna relax. Uh, yeah, so let's get today going. I'm gonna finish my cup of tea and then be on our way. Oh, and I need to upload the vlog. It is definitely the week before Christmas because the market is crazy. Um, I'm actually kind of disappointed because the stuff I usually get for my dog every year, they're not here. Um, so, we'll be going to the pet store so they can a treat instead of the dog combinations. Uh, it's really better anyway because they are quite. Okay, I'm a good Nordstrom, so person, gift for a person. 
done. I still have a week to figure out the dock that does not need to be on my priority list now. So I'm headed back up to my grocery store and we're gonna shop for some things for the party. I'm doing a small charcuterie board, so I'll show you the, I'll pop up a picture of the inspo I've had this saved, but this is like a fall board. We're gonna winterfy it. Uh, and obviously try and throw on as much pink as we can. I'll kind of show you the things that I like to get from Trader Joe's that have been hits on my previous checker reports. So I really enjoy making them even though I don't like cheese which people find really funny. Um, they also think it's really funny that I shop for cheeses that they like and it's only because I spent a lot of time researching the cheeses that other people like to put on their Trader Joe's charcuterie boards. So we'll have a little, a little Friday afternoon gander. It's probably gonna be busy because it's like three o'clock. Did not plan that well. Probably should have gone this morning, but I wanted to go to yoga. So oh well. Um, let's do a grocery haul, and I'll show you what I got from Trader Joe's, what I like on my charcuterie boards, and we'll talk through that. So here we go. Oh, first, I'll do this bag first because there's less in it. Um, I also picked up the wine, which is exciting. Um, really great liquor store near us that's independently owned and we're slowly getting to know the people that work there. And they are so knowledgeable about their, about their products. They really make intentional choices about what they carry in the store versus what they can call in and order for you, obviously. Um, so I was like, let me go in and just get th three really great wines for like a small party like this, where it's not a big meal, like we're not eating steak or chicken, like it's gonna be pizza and charcuterie and popcorn. I wanted to pick up a good Prosecco that would go well with the French 75s. I have a Prosecco here, um, but I don't remember a lot about it because I bought it so long ago. Um, so I'm happy to have two bottles of that for tomorrow. So we've got a Rosé, this is Sol Royal. I think he said it's a Portuguese, yes product of Portugal. I have had this before and I loved it. Uh, I felt like for the pink party, at least having one rosé was a must, but I wanted to give people options, you know. Then we've got a Trebbiano di Abruzzo. Uh, it's an Italian, um, I believe. Yes. Yes. Uh, an Italian uh, white wine. Um, he said it's a uh, not that it's comparable to a Pinot Grigio, but um, it's like a lesser known grape to the Pinot Grigio. So it's kind of dry, that kind of stuff. And then excited for this red because the uh, label looks so good. Uh, but he said this would be really great for um, like charcuterie and even just sipping on, not even for eating. It's a red blend from Turkey. The Prosecco, um, I'm always looking for affordable Proseccos that are good to drink, and this is Savino. It's um, obviously Italian, and it's $14. So this is the wines. I'm gonna pop these three in the fridge now while I'm thinking about it. So they have 24 hours to chill. Then I stopped at Target to get the popcorn bar goodies. So I got two types of microwave popcorn, the Skinny Pop Sea Salt. This was the only like plain one that they had. And then I got Pop Secret Movie Butter, Movie Theater Butter. <laughs> um, I don't eat microwavable popcorn that often. So I hope this is a good pick. Um, I also don't like butter on my popcorn. So also hope it's a good pick. And then for the snack bits, we've got Twizzler nibs. So people can nibble on those. I got two packs of these Smart Sweets, the Sour Melon Bites. Obviously keeping the pink theme. Um, not a lot come in these, so I thought I'd get two and it would probably be enough. And then I got a bag of M&Ms because who doesn't love M&Ms in their popcorn? I am <laughs> slightly beating myself up because I do have access to M&M World in Times Square. I could have gone and gotten exclusively pink M&Ms. However, the idea of going into M&M World not this week. <laughs> Maybe if I thought about it a little bit farther in advance and gone a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, or like right when it opens, but not a chance. We're doing regular M&Ms and that's fine. It's fine. So when I'm making a charcuterie board, I like to think about the platter and what is going to be available to people. So I like to have 
two to three kinds of meats, two to three kinds of cheeses, and different cheese textures. Um, two to three fruits or a vegetable um, or some little like finger thing. And then like uh, something to put the cheese on. So be that bread, crackers, something. And then um, something to like garnish that's edible. So like I like to do chocolate covered pretzels. Um, a lot of people like to throw those like maple leaf cookies from Trader Joe's last year I did the gingerbread ones, which I was surprised were not at Trader Joe's. Like we're a week to Christmas and they have maple leaves but not the gingerbread man. <laughs> I was sad. So speaking of, we've got the chocolate covered pretzels. These always go off as a hit because they're like, you can eat them at any time, but they're also dessert. So they're a great, just like throw on to fill in crevices. Also in that realm is like nuts. I have a uh, bag that I'm hoping to finish tomorrow. Nope, not that one. This one, um, it's the roasted and salted fancy mixed nuts. So that should be enough for the platter. Uh, these candied pecans, everybody loves them. Everybody. <laughs> Obviously, if you're allergic to pecans, not, but I don't have any friends that are. Always a hit. The three cheeses. So, um, everybody's gonna roll their eyes. Unexpected cheddar. Every single time I put this on the board, people are like, is this the unexpected cheddar? What is this one? What is this? Is it cheddar? <laughs> I get so many questions about it. And most people that come to my house when I make them a board have had stuff on my boards before, so they know my usual go-tos. Unexpected cheddar. I don't eat cheddar, so I don't know what it tastes like, but other people really like it. <laughs> uh, to put a little bit of color on, um, I really like to get the creamy Toscano soaked in Syrah. People really like this one. Last cheese is the Bella Toile, Bella Toile, it's, it's French. Bella Toile? Bella Toile. Uh, triple cream <laughs> brie. The triple cream, it's just nice and rich. This I do actually like. I do like brie's. Okay, next thing, I bought a pomegranate <laughs> because um, I thought the seeds would be a really great like nibble thing. And then um, I just love the look of a broken open pomegranate. I think it'll just like add dimension to the board. Cranberries, not for the board. These are garnish for the drinks. We've got two crackers and then tomorrow I'm gonna go pick up a baguette. So we've got the brioche toasts, uh, which is a good, just plain cracker, but it's not, it's like a little elevated-ish. And then something with a little flavor is the fig and olive crisps. I love these. I had a woman in the store, she saw me pick this up and she's like, do you like this? And I was like, yeah, and they, they do really well at all the parties I have. Um, and all of the combo ones that they have, like the rosemary and whatever, um, cranberry and something, like I love all of them. Do you mind? The meats. I keep it pretty basic, especially because I know this is this is a pared down board that I'm trying to do, even though I have all this stuff I know. Um, so I just picked up two of these gourmet deli selection trios. Um, they have two kinds. So this is what I call the Italian trio, and then they have one that's actually called the Spanish trio. So this has um, calabrese, salami, prosciutto, and capocolo, and I just really like these three meats. They go off really well, and two is a good amount of meat for the amount of people that are coming. Slash, I'll probably open one, fill the board with one, and then if it ends, I'll open the second one. What I like about throwing smaller parties where I make charcuterie boards is I have stuff left over to have charcuterie for a couple days. So that is the haul, and then tomorrow I'm gonna pick up like one or two more fruits, uh, the bread, jam, and any other like little things that I didn't think of. I do have some stuff, like how I have that bag of nuts, like I have artichokes that are gonna go on the board, uh, but then there's just other stuff I need to pick up for the drinks and stuff. So we'll do another round at not Trader Joe's. I have to go finish making my dinner. Okay, so I just took a dinner break. I had a very early dinner because I was starving when I came back because I didn't eat lunch, so. I figured I would eat what I was planning on eating for dinner and then if I get hungry later I'll just have whatever I'm in the mood to have uh and no no big deal so I've just been catching up some what I've been watching some vlogmas videos while I eat dinner and just like relax for a second and assess the apartment to do's before tomorrow I think I'm going to 
really push myself and put through some laundry today tonight so that I don't have to wake up super early tomorrow to try and push it through before the day really gets going because then all my laundry will be done for the weekend um and it's like one less thing that's taking up space in my room so I'm just like mentally preparing to do that and then while my laundry is going through I'm gonna start wrapping gifts so I've like pulled out my gift wrapping I have all the gifts in my living room um and then I'm gonna clear a space on my floor to do this just because the table is just a little too small um and I have a like cutting board it has like an actual name it's like a an art cutting board lay out on my floor so that nothing gets um dirty and so I have like a good area hello to cut the wrapping paper on uh but I got uh some mail and as I've been opening my mail on vlogmas I obviously wanted to open this here um it is a Christmas card and I know that because I told my friend that I wanted one so she sent me one um this is so cute little gold foil tree that's gorgeous um oh from graphique 1918 la petite press noel paris boston wow i'm gonna have to ask her where she got this this is so pretty this is from my old co-worker ashley um and friend um we both worked on Leopold Stadt together last year as dressers she is currently a swing dresser on Hamilton and also has a really incredible art account on Instagram and TikTok you should go check her out she's art by Smashly I will have it up here and I will attempt to link it in the description my descriptions this vlogmas season have been atrocious I need to go through and edit all of them anyway you should check out Ashley she does some incredible fantasy art I love seeing what she creates I'm so in love with her art style and I want more people to see her work it was just such a obviously I'm not gonna read it out loud because it was a, a personal and very sweet message um but I love I love getting Christmas cards they make me so happy and I can't believe we are entering the last week before Christmas and that's when I'm going to be writing my Christmas cards but it's okay it's gonna be okay all right I am Ooh, my goodness one last sip of my diet coke I'm gonna get up I'm gonna go downstairs I'm gonna hope that there's a washer and dryer available and we're gonna put through this laundry Go team. Okay, I am on the ground. I have my setup here. My timer is going for my laundry, so we're just gonna be rolling through. Um, and I thought that I would show you what I got as gifts in case anybody needs inspiration. I love giving gifts. I've said it many, many times over the last few vlogs. So here are this year's gifts. Uh, gift number one is for a friend of mine. I'm like, should I say the names? Why not? This is for my friend Julie. Um, <laughs> and she has been avidly decorating her apartment um, and getting a lot of art and being really thoughtful about the type of art that goes in which areas, the different areas of her apartment. And she has this really beautiful like office music area. And there's some artwork over there. And she's about to make a big swift change and pursue music full time so i found this adorable cat print on etsy where it's a bunch of cats hopping all over this music score and she has three cats at home she started fostering cats over covid so i got the print and i framed it so all she has to do is find a home for it really when i think about giving gifts to people unless i'm actively thinking about like okay i'm giving you something to do which is a uh, kind of another gift. I, I want the gift to be complete. I don't want to just give her the print, but her not be able to hang it up. Um, so I made sure that I found just like a neutral frame. And then if she wants to switch it out and use this frame for something else, she can. I want to wrap this before my roommate comes home. She's been with her parents. So I want to look at it so I really understand how to wrap it. Yeah, I'm just going to wrap it in this, but I'll show you. I got her this little... It's so stuck in there. It's a little mushroom lamp. She loves lamps. And favorite color is green. 
and she's always looking to add like a new light source to her room and so I thought I would get her something in her favorite color that's a little bit like it's a neutral object that she could kind of put anywhere relatively small uh, it also came with an LED bulb I really hope that the color is good she can assemble it it also came with assembly instructions but I'm just going to keep it unfortunately they packed it with styrofoam which is the worst that's okay. I'm gonna write her a little note to open this last because it'll give away what it is. I'm just gonna box this up and um, that's what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this box uh, so that it doesn't get damaged, but I am gonna take the shipping labels off the box. I don't have to go up and down the stairs for another 40 minutes, so that's nice. Next gift. If you know your friends wear jewelry, there is nothing wrong with gifting jewelry. Uh, I am gonna leave the sticker on in case she wants to exchange it. Know your store's policies. I know that Nordstrom would accept this as a receipt because I didn't get a gift receipt. Just in case, I did have to text her mom to double check on the uh, tone of metal she wears, uh, but I just got little simple hoops that have a dangle. This was one of the gifts I got yesterday that I was like, when I saw it, I was so excited to gift this. I found this botanical cocktail recipe cards and it's uh, 50 cocktails inspired by nature. So um, they are like big into nature, like big into nature. They moved to upstate New York um, a little over a year ago and they are also into cocktails and drinks so I thought this was just like the perfect combo for them uh and it's just a little something a little something I'm kind of doing this as like a for the husband and wife but it's mostly for my friend Regina but it's for it's for both her and her husband her and her husband have a record player and a very small maybe they have a bigger record collection than I think they do but they have a really wonderful sound system through their house and I saw this book on Anthro's website when I was browsing stuff and it's a booze and vinyl Christmas this author has gone through and curated a bunch of Christmas albums and then created two cocktails per album because um, vinyls have two sides. Uh, and so I was looking through the list of vinyls in the book and so I wanted to give them like the book and then something as a companion to it. So one of the vinyls is A Holly Dolly Christmas uh, and they both love Dolly Parton's. It's the best day ever. The Barbie movie is on Max. Finally. I thought I was going to have to buy it for the party bar, but I don't. It's on Max. Oh my God. I mean, I would still buy it, but it is nice to not have an extra purchase that I have to make. I'm so happy. Oh, I don't want to put this on right now. Not because I don't want to watch it two days in a row, because I would, but because I'm still going back and forth. I'm gonna put on Elf because I know that's also on here and for some reason I've been in the mood to watch it. It is not one of my favorite Christmas movies but I think because I started watching it every year. God, they have like a whole Barbie land section on Max. This is amazing. Sorry, it's like a terrible angle. You're seeing me do nothing. Um, I think because I've watched Elf the last couple years it just feels like a part of my Christmas watches now. Um, I don't know. I think I, I think I saw that it's 20 years old and I've been seeing the poster around, so I want to watch it. So that's what I'm going to put on while I still roll through laundry. And then maybe when I'm done with that and I'm settled in the apartment doing stuff, I'll put on the Barbie movie. Ah, I'm so happy. Mom is getting the Courant Essentials Catch 2. So this is a multi-device wireless charger. I thought I would upgrade her to a new charging situation. So at night she can charge her phone and her AirPods at the same time. So they'll be charged for her in the morning. And I got it in this like beige linen color. Uh, so it'll blend it. Okay, for my sister, I got her this toast uh, light. It's a bread bread machine toaster light. Uh, she just moved to college, and I remember when I was living in my dorm, I just wanted things that made it feel cozy and homey. So I just wanted to give her a little something that would be a decoration as well as a little light for her. So um, it's also just like the cutest little thing, and I know she loves cute things. So. 
I hope she enjoys that. I really hope YouTube doesn't flag me for saying this. Um, the next gift is knives. So um, it's a gift. It's a gift and it's in a box. My parents need a new knife set and uh, it's just, it, it's been forever since they've gotten new knives. So uh, for my dad, I'm gifting him this knife set. It is 15 German forged stainless steel, um, lots of knives, a knife block, and it comes with a built-in knife sharpener so um and it comes with one or two scissors it might be two it comes with all-purpose shears and utility shears there's all the all the the things um so that's for dear old dad and then the other thing i picked up yesterday which was the reason i went to that store yesterday it's for my friend brenna she loves tea she's not a coffee drinker she's a tea drinker so i wanted to get her a originally i thought i would get her a like a monthly subscription to this company but I didn't want her to have to do the work of going on the website so I thought I'd get her one of their sets and they have a holiday one called the warming set um, and it's a uh, festive blends for a season of celebratory moments and it's 15 pre-portioned loose leaf tea pouches it's a bunch of them it tells you how to do it on the back and then if she likes this company she can keep purchasing from them and then if I know she likes them, I might get her a subscription further down the line. Um, so yeah, it's Tea Forte and they sold, they don't have any individual stores in New York. I don't know if they have any stores anywhere, but they sell in stores. So it came up that they were in this like gift, gifting store uh, in New York, uh, in Midtown. So that is for her. <laughs> have been wrapped all the holiday cards for this round of people uh or a round of people um <laughs> have been done any card that is associated with a gift i wrapped is done um and i'm pretty prepped for tomorrow it's gonna be a lot of like fast tidying cleaning putting things away kind of stuff so long day i need to hop in the shower and get this video edited and get to bed. I am glad I watched Elf. I am glad I put it on. It does make me laugh. So I need to stop fighting it. <laughs>